Good morning, good people. I send you greetings from the Capuchin Franciscans in San Antonio, Texas. My name is Father Christopher Popravec. The other day, a friend wrote, Please pray for a little girl bound to a wheelchair. She's been suffering with terrible back pain. Doctors are trying to help her. Then this virus hit, and now she's put on the back burner. Her name is Gracie. Sad to say, while coronavirus has its own victims, it also adds to the pain and sufferings of others. How can our hearts not go out in compassion and prayer for those suffering in this terrible time? I hope you will join me remembering little Gracie and others like her. There is much, though, that this time can teach us. If our hearts are moved to compassion, how much more true is it of God? God is a God of mercy. Back in 2005, Pope St. John Paul II designated the Sunday after Easter, that is yesterday, Divine Mercy Sunday. He reminds us that the risen Lord offers his love as a gift to humanity, a humanity which often seems bewildered and overwhelmed by the power of evil, selfishness, and fear. We know, though, that Jesus' mercy is great enough to miraculously heal those who are physically afflicted. Perhaps even more powerfully, Jesus extends his mercy to our spiritual ills. Remember the paralytic who was lowered through the roof so that Jesus could heal him? Jesus' first words to him were, Take heart, my son, your sins are forgiven. And when the Pharisees objected, Jesus replied, Which is easier to say, your sins are forgiven, or to say, rise and walk? For Jesus, our spiritual separation from God is at least as serious as the ailments that afflict our bodies. My brothers and sisters in Christ, God's merciful love brings peace and well-being to our suffering world. God's love made manifest in Jesus heals us. It pardons, reconciles, and opens our hearts anew to friendship with him. How much the world now needs to accept that divine mercy. May you open your hearts and experience that mercy today and every day. God bless you.